I'd like to address that there are more options than just fair trade and unfair trade products, and what that even means. So the broad definition of fair trade is that the buyers pay the growers a fair price for their product. In order for a product to carry the fair trade seal of approval, it must be certified by Fair Trade International, which independently audits its farms to make sure it follows its environmental, labor, and developmental standards. To be certified fair trade, farmers must join a cooperative, and that cooperative does the selling of the product and then passes a percentage of the profits onto the farmers, a percentage that is usually above market prices. Unfortunately, it's a bit difficult for low-income farmers to become fair trade certified because it can be so expensive to convert to the fair trade standards. On the whole, fair trade promotes environmental sustainability and of course prohibits child labor, forced labor, and discrimination at the workplace. Direct trade is when you cut the middlemen out and companies can buy their product directly from the farmers and the farmers can negotiate the prices with the buyer without having to deal with cooperatives. Not only are farmers getting more money because the money goes directly to farmers, but direct Direct traders tend to pay higher than the fair trade premium and plus it encourages face-to-face -face level interactions and actually building a relationship between the buyer and the farmers themselves. But there's always a but. The thing about direct trade is that there's no third party certification system like Fair Trade International, so as a consumer you have to trust the buyer and the grower to stick to the standards that they're claiming. There's also a third option that I'd like to point out, which is a certification given out by the NGO Rainforest Alliance, which mostly focuses on biodiversity and sustainability. One of the cool things about the Rainforest Alliance is that it allows farms of all sizes to be certified, including large plantations, which Fair Trade does not allow to join cooperatives. Some standards include the protection of wildlife and rainforests, responsible waste management, not allowing the use of dangerous pesticides or genetic modification, accessible medical care to all the workers and their families, free education for their children, and of course, a clean and safe working environment. However, however, that's just a fancy word for but. Yes, there are some cons to the Rainforest Alliance, namely that unlike fair trade and agreements made through direct trade, Rainforest Alliance does not guarantee a price to the farmers, or any minimum price. This lack of a guarantee or a minimum leaves farmers vulnerable to market prices, which can lead to them being underpaid. The organization also allows for the use of their seal of approval if a company uses at least 30% certified product, which means that 70% of the product that you're buying may not be following any of the standards that I mentioned. You can see why we're asking Warner Brothers to at least commit to using fair trade chocolate, which as a large company, they can afford. I'd personally like to look more into companies that are using bean to bar processes, which are usually fair trade and they go from raw cacao beans all the way to molded bars in-house. Be sure to sign the petition to Warner Brothers at showustherreport.com if you haven't already. Leave questions in the comments about fair trade, direct trade, rainforest alliance, and any other options you have, and I might make another video about it or answer it in the comments. And if you want some fair trade chocolate, we are selling pre-orders right now of dark chocolate for the vegans and milk chocolate at the hpa.org slash shop. Stay awesome, guys, and I will see you next time to make sure it follows its social, environmental, and sustainability standards. I made that up. Okay, now it's time for the butt.